Chicago is making national headlines for all the wrong reasons, as that city's crime rate does increase. The, the rise in police arrests, however, have gone down by 80 percent. Joining us now, Diversity Coalition liaison for the Trump inaugural committee, Brunel Donald Che. Uh, God bless you. Uh, Brunel, I know that's God how you greet everybody. God bless you and God bless America. Absolutely. God bless you and God bless America. But you know what? I think I think we need some uh, godly intervention in Chicago, and I don't say that you know lightly. It, it, the violence in Chicago is dramatic, and I, I've got to imagine that the people on the south side and in the western part of the city uh, want something else. Now I don't know what it is that to do, but this situation it, it, it can't be tolerated, can it? No, it cannot. And I'll tell you this, Chi-Town, uh, K-Town, Lawndale, Roseland, Inglewood, right. a lot of these areas that are affected by this violence, you know what it is? Honestly, people need jobs. They need vocational programs. They need um, opportunities, investment, entrepreneurship. They need something. You know, the, the, we know that idle hands are the devil's workshop. We know that. And so what we've got to do is what the president-elect Donald Donald J. Trump has been proposing what he ran on in the campaign is we've got to put jobs in the well, areas where violence you know, is. We know that when, yeah, go ahead. Well, we know when jobs you, are high, violence goes down. Goes down, but, but this kind of violence has existed in Chicago for years. And, and it, even when economic times are good, uh, I'm at a loss. I think all of us are outraged. We saw the video of the police officer who shot what yes. was it, so many, you know, 13, 14 times the, the, the sure. person in the middle of the street. Laquan the McDonald, right. yeah, Laquan McDonald. And we get outraged about that. Where's the outrage? And we keep saying they were gang members. Yes, they, they may have been breaking the law, but they were also human beings. And we, we yes. talk about these people were just killed. And, and where is the outrage? Why are people in Chicago allowing and tolerating this? Yes, they're gang members, but they're people too. Let me tell you something. People are heartbroken in Chicago. It's to the point where you can't even turn your television on without hearing about somebody being shot and killed. And what I'll tell you is this. There's a lot of hopelessness and helplessness in the streets of Chicago. I'm going to tell you, most people don't want to be in a gang. They don't want to be selling drugs. Right. They don't want to be killing each other. Most people want to be at work in a uniform or putting on their suit and tie or doing their Absolutely. vocational program going to school. That's most people. That's probably over 80, 90 percent. You always have bad apples everywhere. Mm -hmm. But what I'll say is this. We have got to stop talking and, and get busy getting jobs, educational programs, and opportunities into these neighborhoods. Now, people are saying, well, even during the good times, there's violence. Yes, there is violence in, during the good times. But let me tell you this. There has not been a concentrated effort into these inner cities to to make the real difference. Now we have a president-elect who's going into office who's saying, look, I'm going to put billions into the inner cities. I'm going to fix infrastructure. I'm going to go in and make the difference. So I suggest that people get behind this president-elect like never before. And one of the first places they can do that, inner city people, activists, people who care, is that inauguration showing that you want change. Brunel Donald Che, I apologize that we're out of time because I think it's a discussion that, okay. that, that we need to have, and I appreciate your. And your I'm being praying here. for the city every night, and I'm praying for the nation every night, and our president-elect. God bless you. And God bless you. I love Chicago, by the way. I love to visit. I, I love, love it too, there, but it's gotten too terrible. It's gotten terrible. I wish it's the not best easy. for the people there. All the best to you yes. as well. Happy New Year. Thank you. Bless you. Happy New Year to you as well. Thanks.